this is a going to be a quick video, uh, kind of messy. Just want to point something out real quick that I found odd. Uh, this is a MacBook Pro from uh, mid-2009. It's my sister's. Uh, she's having issues with it running real slow, uh, and the hard drive was full up. So I decided, I told her I'd clear out, uh, back up her photos and clear them out. The operating system was running so slow, I decided to boot into Linux. So uh, obviously, I can boot off a CD no problem. I pop a CD in or DVD in, and when I boot, I hold down the C key, it boots to the CD, but running off a CD is rather slow. It's still faster than the operating system that's on the Mac already, uh, but it was still kind of slow starting stuff up. So I wanted to do a you know, USB boot, which supposedly you can do. And I have two flash drives here, uh, one that I have plugged in there right now, and this one. This, the, the, they're both Linux Mint 17.3. Um, one I made is a, it's a, a fat partition, and I used Unit Bootin to create it, which seems to be the way tutorials say to do it. Uh, and then I also have this one where I just DD'd over the ISO, so it's, it's an ISO format. So I boot the computer, I hold down Option, should give me all my bootable um, drives. Does not see either of these flash drives. Well, I accidentally left one of these flash drives in and put in the CD or the DVD to boot again. So I put that in. I'll power down the computer. Doesn't matter which one of the flash drives I have, whether it's the ISO or the FAT uh, partition. Turn that on. When I hear the tone, I press C. Now, if the CD's not in there, if the DV's not in there, I can hold down C with either of these USB drives in there, nothing happens. But with the Linux Mint 17.3 DVD in there, it takes a minute, I press that, you can hear it spinning up the disk. It's booting the disk, but somewhere along the boot process, when Linux Mint is booting, it stops looking at the DVD and then boots off the USB drive. Doesn't matter, again, which one, either one of these it does. Uh, which I found very interesting. I can't boot either of these USB drives without the DVD, but the DVD isn't designed to boot the USB drive. The DVD is designed to boot itself. So here we go. It's, it's going to start up. It's spinning up. It's going to say, you know, automatically start in 10 seconds. I just click Start Linux Mint. But it must be the CD when it's booting. It must rescan the drives for the image to boot from. Because, uh, you know, the bootloader here is running in, in memory now, and it finds the USB drive, even though I'm not telling it to. It finds it over booting from the DVD. So once I get in there, it's running a lot smoother, a lot faster, because I'm booting off the USB drive rather than DVD, and I can eject the drive, no problem, the, the CD drive. Obviously, if I pull out the flash drive, it starts going haywire. So I just wanted to do a quick video on this. i got to bring this laptop back now. I don't have much time to, to play with it on that, but I just found that really interesting, because the disk's not supposed to do that. You should be able to boot just off a USB drive or off a CD, but the CD, or, or DVD, is booting the USB drives for me, kind of like Plop Linux would, but it's not designed to do that. Uh, has anyone else experienced this? Does anyone else know how I can boot these USB drives without the DVD on a um, on a Mac computer? The and again, this is a MacBook Pro from 2009. It, when I looked up the model number on it, it said uh, under you know preferences or whatever. It, said, it just said mid 2009. I guess they don't have like real you know, uh, model numbers. It's just MacBook Pro from whatever time. You know, everything works out of the box. I just have to enable the wireless drivers. They're, they're already here on Linux Mint. They're just disabled by default. Um, yeah, the only thing I can think of, and again, I didn't really read through all the, um, the, the you know, step-by-step -step for creating the USB drives for a Mac machine, um, but they said that it should be a FAT and, uh, partition and you can use UNET Bootin, which this drive is made out of. Um, the only thing I can think is maybe, um, you know, the headers for the partition, it's set to boot, but maybe it needs to be different for a Mac. I didn't have time to look that up. Comment below if you know for sure, because uh, I would love to have one of these flash drives available in case I have to do this again. I don't have to have the CD. Yeah, I just found it weird. Thought I'd make a quick video on it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. One more question, uh, you know, because I'm not that familiar uh, with everything on a Mac. Uh, first of all, I want to show you, forgot to show you this. I can go into here and I can eject the CD-ROM drive. And you'll see everything keeps running. I can open up other programs like Firefox, even though I'm not connected to the internet. So just wanted to show you that, but also want to ask you, 
Is there any way to eject a CD-ROM from a MacBook Pro other than this button here? Because this button here only seems to work once you're inside the, the Apple operating system. Uh, obviously in Linux I can go and click and eject, but there's no, you know, regular, regular laptop has a button you click. As soon as the power's on, you can eject it, you know. So I have a problem with this is I turn off this computer, I go, oh, I forgot to take the CD out, and I've got to boot all the way into an operating system just to eject the CD. Um, am I right in thinking that that's just, like most things on an Apple computer, just extremely poor design? Or is there a way to eject the CD without having to boot into the operating system first? Because uh, I can press this all all day long during the boot process even into the Mac OS and until I get to the login screen I can't eject the drive so uh, just asking because I don't know just seems like a very poor design to me but maybe there's something I don't know uh, and if you know let me know in the comments below thanks again for watching also, real quick, another thing, uh, even though I haven't installed the, the proprietary drivers that are available for the, um, the video card in here, Compiz seems to work great. I got scaling of windows, I've got uh, my wobbly windows, and you know, the 3D cube spinning, everything seems to be working great. And even though this machine is, um, you know, seven years old at this point, uh, with only two gigs of RAM, everything works great out of the box. You know, again, uh, the only thing I have to do is enable the Wi-Fi drivers, but they are available already on Linux Mint uh, 17.3.